What's up, YouTube? So today I am in Powell, Ohio, attending another opening of Bricks and Minifigs. I recently just went to one of these in Hilliard, but uh, there's another one open up in here. Sorry, it's super windy out. I'm really trying to see how good this microphone is. Um, there's a crazy long line to get in this place, and I am about to be freezing for probably a good half hour waiting to get in here. All for you guys. So, uh, yeah, let's check this crap out. As you can see right here, there's the store. Bricks and mini fix. I'm assuming they got some crazy deals going on or something because there's just so many people waiting to get in. It's insane. Absolutely insane. So here's the line, and I gotta go all the way back here and freaking stand in it. And it's windy and cold and miserable. But we're gonna go wait in line and see what we can see. Also, there's somebody dressed up as T-Rex up there. See that? The inflatable T-Rex costume. I don't know what the frick's going on with that. See that boy? Yeah, that's weird. All right, almost to the uh, front of the store now. Been lying for like 40 freaking minutes. So it'll be close to 50 by the time I get inside. But uh, we're getting there, finally. Okay, and we've made it in here, checking out the store. See the Winnie the Pooh set right off the bat. Here's these again. We saw these at the Hilliard store. These are pretty, pretty neat. My sister was talking about wanting one of these, so for her and her husband. So I think I'm gonna grab one of these for her. But yeah, let's walk around and see what we can see. See some old city sets. Actually, these might be kind of new. I might be wrong. I think these are these are newer sets, newer city sets. Thank you for coming. How's it going? Good. Some Harry Potter sets here. Here's your bulk bricks. Here. Yes, thank you. Oh man, here's the Daily Bugle. That's a cool one. Sanctum. Fuller's Hammer. At least some neat ones to check out. Here's a whole entire bin of build your own bricks. You could get lost in here. There's literally somebody built a freaking plane. Or it was already built, I'm not sure. Look at this. The old X-Men 97 set. Which, by the way, the show is freaking amazing. I'm so glad they brought that back for Disney+. Plus. If you're not watching that, you're an idiot. <laughs> freaking watch it. It's so good. Wow. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of stuff to check out here. I mean, so much to look at. Here we have the Build Your Own Minifig Factory. Sometimes you can find better stuff in here than you can actually at the Lego store, I will say that. It's definitely busy in here, you can say that for sure. Definitely packed. Here's the already built sets up across the wall. I actually see the haunted house way over there. I'll try to zoom in on a little bit. They've got the ball figures here to check out. See some, some older sets down here. Here's a Last Jedi set with Old Man Luke. This is a really cool set. I'd like to have this someday. Ooh, look, they got the snow speeder over there too. Check that out. That's a good one. Love it. It's an older set here too. It's got the uh, Rogue One um, Death Trooper on it. A little Sarlacc, Boba Fett. Here's another Last Jedi set. Oh, they got some Rogue One sets. Oh, that's cool. I like those shoes. Look at them shoes right there. Good choice of shoes. This set here comes with Captain Phasma, which I think is a pretty uh, pretty important Lego. Oh yeah, 194 bucks for that set. I, I'm pretty sure Phasma's a really hard one to find. 
I think that's why. Hopefully I can get a little closer to the pre-built sets when I go to check out. There's a ton on that back wall. There's a lot to look at. Oh, wouldn't you know it. The Back to the Future DeLorean. Rumor has that this right here will take it to the land of make-believe. Wow. I gotta admit, this one's a way bigger store than the Hilliard one. Not trying to knock the Hilliard store, but this one's definitely the bigger store. We've got some of the poly bags here from the new Animal Crossings. Adorable sets. Got the A-frame up there. Really want that. Rivendale here. Another X-Men uh, X-Jet. Again, if you're not watching that show, you're an idiot. Here's the Lost Ark. Some Jurassic Park. Got the Loot Coaster, too. And a few other uh, Batman sets here as well. They also have these storage containers. Put your Legos in if you need to uh, store them. Some of these are pretty neat to check out. Oh, there's a Lego movie. Lego movie 2 set over there. We got the uh, pirate set. I think this is a pirate set. Fortress pirate. And here is that... Here's that Lego movie set I was just showing. Lego movie 2. It's Rex's uh, ship. Comes with a ton of stuff, ton of minifigures. I would imagine this one's pretty expensive. Pretty neat. You don't really see those very much. It's a big set, too. And the Galaxy Explorer. Here we got a little coaster set here. I don't know if it's working. It doesn't look like it's working. The kicks out. Where's it going on? Oh, hang on, he's trying to get working here. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to see some action. Hopefully soon in Grandview. I would be, uh, I would be throwing up. The coaster. Be a good view in here coming across. Oh, yeah, I did. That's a lot of fun. I could watch this all day, to be honest with you. See, here's the people running the ride, so you can get on it. It keeps getting stuck, though, which kind of sucks, but it's still cool to see. It's very popular, too. Yeah, see, it keeps getting stuck right there. I don't want to touch it. Looks like this is the concession stands. Oh, this boy's getting ready to get on. He's terrified. Absolutely terrified. Terrified of this coaster. Of course, the line outside makes it not as busy in here, but trust me, it's still uh, there's still a lot of people in here. This must be like the newer set area, Jurassic Park sets. These ones you can find in the stores. Still, a lot of these sets you can still find in the stores, but these ones, these Jurassic Park sets, I know for sure they're still in the store. And of course, we have cases and cases and cases. Ooh, I have this. That's a great set there. Oh, look at that. The Yoda duel. Just so many minifigures to check out. Look at all these minifigures. It's like a Christmas tree droid back there. I don't know if you can see that behind some 3 pl Vader on vacation. Got good morning guards. Lots of cool things. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a yellow faced Qui-Gon Jinn way back here. Really hard to see it. I think he's coming home with me. I love the yellow face old Star Wars stuff. You don't really see him as much. They don't make them anymore. Yellow face. I just, I love them. They're so cool. I wish I could show you better. I'll show you better after I buy them, I guess. Man, that's an old Indiana Jones set right down there. See, right, okay, so there's the new one right there in the middle. That's an older set. 280 bucks for that. 
sometimes these aren't complete, which kind of sucks. But. Holy crap. Well, we found the expensive ones. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, is this an evil Anakin? Look at that. Dark side Anakin right there. Yeah, these are all the these are all the expensive Star Wars ones here. Makes me not feel as bad for wanting a twelve dollar figure. Man, those are cool. All those like Looney Tunes ones are cool. Yeah. I like speedy. Yeah. Lego movie sets here. Marvel sets down through here. Sorry, I'm going too fast. Wow, they got the Ninja Turtle sets down here too. Those are cool to see. And of course, some of the Marvel guys up here. Eventually I'm gonna get a Thanos. But not today. No Thanos today. But I do like getting some of these for my, my Sanctum setup. Maybe I'll get a Marvel guy too. More look here at the old sets on the wall. See all these back here. I was kind of looking for the uh, the Ghostbusters set. I don't see it. I thought it was going to be a good little theme for the day with Ghostbusters just coming out this weekend. No Ghostbusters though. They got a lot of a lot of uh, almost said Marvel, a lot of Star Wars sets though. Tons of Star Wars sets. Here we have some of the uh, the mini fig um, series. Wow, look at this! They have a lot of the horror ones here. I don't really ever see those very much, but here they are. And they got Frankenstein with the freaking guitar over there. That's cool, man. I feel like you don't see those very much. There's a boy back here. I don't know if you can see him. He's behind the llama. He's got a sombrero. I think that boy's coming home with me as well. Gosh, there's so many minifigures in here. They also got some, I think, I'm pretty sure these are incomplete sets down here. Eh, sorry if it's kind of hard to see them, but. Oh, they do have the Ghostbuster set over there. There it is, the Ghostbuster set. I don't know if this is complete or not. If it's complete, I think this is uh, coming home with me. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right there is an old X-Men set. I've never seen that X-Men set up there. Oh. With the uh, Sentinel. Yeah, that's cool. It's got a Cyclops too. It's missing the best X-Men, but. I see Wolverine. <laughs> I mean, just just look at these freaking earrings. How adorable. How freaking adorable. Hair clips. Like, <laughs> those are some of the coolest earrings I've ever seen. I'm about to pierce my ears just so I can freaking wear them. Is that a Macho Man? I think it's a Macho Man. Custom Macho Man figure. All right, so I was in there for quite a while. It was a lot of fun, actually. Um, I'm really testing the limits of this mic yet again because it's windy. But uh, those guys were super cool in there. I sat there and talked to that dude while waiting for the checkout about comic books for like 10 minutes. And uh, that was a lot of fun. The owner in there, I spoke to him off and on. He was asking me, you know, about my channel and all that stuff. Cool people to talk to. Um, I'm definitely going to be back at this place. They, they had a lot of stuff. So... Unfortunately, did not get the Ghostbuster Echo 1 set, and here's why. It wasn't 100% complete, or they, they said it was like 99%, they couldn't guarantee it was 100%, and it would have bothered me to not have that thing 100%. I know it's stupid, but it would have, and because of that reason, I didn't go home with it. I will get it someday, but I wanna make sure it's complete or I can build it myself. But it's still a really amazing set. There's also the old DeLorean set before they made the new one. I also want to get that. They didn't have it in there, but that's another set that I definitely want to get. So let me hop in my car here because it's freaking cold and I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, inside the nice warm uh, truck now. 
And here are the minifigures that I ended up going home with, like $50 in minifigs, right? So I got this Darth Vader here, and hopefully it zooms in on it. I don't know if it will with the face tracking on. Let's turn the face tracking off. Super cool uh, summertime Vader. His outfit is really neat, like his little uh, tank top he's wearing. He's got the Death Star and then his castle on the back. Ah, it's just funny. Um, I got the Qui-Gon also, the yellow-faced uh, Qui-Gon Jen. They put this one in a baggie for me, but that's Qui-Gon. He is missing his lightsaber, which sucks. Um, but I feel like I have a spare lightsaber. I can get a lightsaber that's close enough for that. Um, I also got... And I don't know why I didn't have this till now, but I got Daffy Duck. And Daffy Duck is my favorite Looney Tune ever. Um, I love Daffy Duck. I love the Looney Tunes. And these are the, all these Looney Tunes are amazing. And eventually I'm going to get the full set, but freaking Daffy Duck. I was also going to buy a Kermit if they had it in there, even though I have like one, two. I think I have three Kermits. I just feel so bad seeing Kermit sitting on the shelf. That's my boy. And I feel like he needs to go to a home. But they had no Kermits in there. So hopefully all the Kermits are in nice homes loving their life. Because that's what Kermit needs. Last one I got. Um, it's just cool. There's a little, little sombrero kid here. He's got a little poncho on. He got that little stick. I just thought it was neat. It was only $7. And it comes with a little pinata. Which... Uh, Kind of reminds me of Lego Fortnite. Little pinata boy here. And that's all I got. That was the haul. A um, lot of minifigs in there. This is a this is a good one. Um, and I'm not going to bash the Hilliard store. I think that they were holding back at Hilliard as far as like the sets. Like I feel like that dude's probably got a ton of sets and he just didn't set them out for opening day. I don't know why, but he didn't. And I'm sure that that store now is going to say, all right, game on, buddy, and he's going to put out a bunch of cool stuff and try to get people to go over there. But that store, awesome. A lot of sets, a lot of cool things to look at. And small rant for me, just a small, tiny rant. I'm not this person at all. But while I was standing in line, the jabronis behind me were being absolute jerks. And I don't know why. I don't know if they had some weird, like, charisma with them or what, but they were literally telling people, hey, you're going to overpay in this store. You shouldn't go in there. Hey, you can get this stuff cheaper on eBay. Yeah, breaking news. Most of the freaking time you can get stuff cheaper on eBay. I know that's hard to believe. It's not. It's not hard to believe. But, like, just let people enjoy it. Lego is mostly a toy for children, and I don't know what you want. I am an adult. I like Lego because I grew up with Lego. I'm going to continue to play with Lego, but I realize <laughs> Lego is at its core designed for children. And these children like to go in here, find Lego, see Lego that they've never seen before, buy just the bulks of Lego. And we don't need to hear you flexing about your uh, Cloud City Boba Fett, that's like a $2,000 minifig, and no one freaking cares, okay? Just let people enjoy the stuff they're doing. And if you're doing it in private, and you're like, wow, look at all this cool stuff I've got, then you know what, go for it. But when you're in line, and you're being vocal, and you're butting in on other people's conversations, and telling them that they shouldn't buy stuff because it's more expensive at this store, leave them alone. Like, they're, they're, no one's getting hurt. No one's going to freaking die. It's okay, dude. All right. I think I said enough. It just, it irked me because these people were just enjoying their time, talking about things that they may or may not see in there and buy. And this jabroni behind me is just like Mr. Lego expert or whatever. And he's just butting into conversations for no freaking reason. And I'm telling you, as soon as I got in that store, those jabronis like sped walk through everything and was like laughing at the prices. Like, stop. Don't even don't even show up if you're gonna act like that. There's no reason to act like that at these stores. No freaking reason. I get it. And I, I mean I know there is stuff in there, and I'm like, whoo, man, that's that's high, but that's how Lego works, you know? They sets get retired, they go up in price. 
this is a little shop with a front and rent to pay for. People on eBay do not have that. If you want to just buy it on eBay and you don't want to have the fun of looking at stuff, freaking get on eBay and freaking buy it. Now I'm done. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry about that. I'm, that is not a normal thing that I'm going to do on this channel. I was just so annoyed at how those guys were acting. It was not cool at all. Don't act like that because there's no point. There's no reason for it. I hate giving them credit. I hate talking about them right now. There was uh, some content creators in there as well, and I do want to shout them out. Um, one guy in particular I was talking to, I'm going to put his channel right here, right there. And I, you know what? Shoot, I'll put a link in the description below. I'm, I'm sure he's going to be making a video. He was a cool dude to talk to. And uh, yeah, it was good vibes in there, man. Good freaking vibes in the, in the uh, PAL Ohio Bricks and Minifig shop. So if you're here, but you're taking the kids to the zoo or whatever, and you guys are going out for lunch, go in there, check them out. Come go say hi. Everybody in there was super nice. Yeah, do it. All right, I'm going to shut up now. Like, subscribe, all that bull crap. Till next time.